Hi everybody, this is Kevin Ho, and we are here at one of our favorite streets in Noe Valley, 23rd Street, seeing a listing from some of our favorite agents, uh, Luis Drewby and the Drewby team over at, well, I guess they're Generation Real Estate now. So, we are seeing 45 23rd Street, which is amongst this beautiful block of Victorians and a beautiful two unit building in front and you're right next to Noe over there. And of course, Noe 24th is just around here. So number 4025 was built in the late 1880s. It predates the front building, which is built later on. And it's back here. It's a detached cottage, standalone cottage, which we always advocate and love in Noe Valley because you get a lot of advantages of being part of an HOA, but you get the separateness of, well, being separate. So here it's a two bedroom, one bath home. It's about 700, 800 square feet. Oh, hi guys, hello. Beautiful setting, hi Liz. She says hello, she says hi, there you go. Beautiful listing here, it's like we said, to 1880s and it's detached on all four sides. And we'll show you this side over here. Really lovely there, you see the neighbor's yard and you've got a lot of charm coming in here. So it's a three unit HOA and it's really well run and well administered. Uh, owners in the other units and take a look in here. So this is a beautiful setting. I think it's the most sort of Instagrammable, beautiful apartment therapy type of place you can find. A lot of cool details. Take a look here. The ceilings are about eight feet tall. You've got the Victorian windows. Uh, we've got some double pane glass there. In the front here, you've got the lovely garden, like we said, a little storage in there, Japanese maple. Uh, in here, here's the kitchen. So you've got this nice built-in uh, shelf here with the uh, grained wood, a little pantry refrigerator there. This is actually four feet, so you could actually add in a 36 inch refrigerator if you wanted to. And then over here, we'll go on there a second. You got the classic uh, gas stove there. I love the open shelves. And you've got the vent, uh, I mean the, the hood. You can easily vent that outside because you have your own exterior wall. I love the little details on the, the walls. You have a gas furnace heater here, which I think serves for the rest of the house. Uh, nice underground sink, and I love that view of the neighbor's bamboo. Uh, over here, let's take a look. A nice sunny deck back here. There's a bamboo. Oh, it's a lemon tree. A nice little lemon tree. Really lovely setting back here. I really love the, the neighbor's tree. I don't know what that is, but it's lovely. And here, one of the ideas we had was that you could do some lighting under here light up at night so when you're doing your dishes it's pretty cool so you have this little outdoor space back here and under here well that's a giant lemon you've got the decking like we said and you've got the back which will go up top in a second that the detachedness is really cool now under here you have your access to the foundation the foundation uh, is concrete in part with uh, cinder blocks here in the back here You've got a little bit of a little upgrading that you can do. It's been here, of course, for many, many years. Um, dirt down here, you've got post and pier, but uh, it's perfectly manageable. And the nice thing is the joists go this way. So you can do a lot of the work here and maybe even do some leveling upstairs without having really to compromise the rest of the building. But it's something that's perfectly doable. Um, our, one of our listings before we had that, and we got an estimate for something quite similar that we can discuss with you guys too. But it's perfectly manageable and would be a great just you know peace of mind thing but also just making the house that much better so nice stacking back here like we said lemon tree here and we're going back in so there we go countertops here like we said happy buyers here you're going to see yourselves again right that again? those people right so over here you've got a little storage room under the closet a little harry potter like here and here you've got your bathroom You've got the enamel tub, rolled steel enamel tub. It's really cool. Nice shower, nice light here. Vent heating up there. Little wall sink here too. So downstairs, if you decide to do any upgrades, what I think you could do is since you're working on the area anyway, level this up a little more, do an in-wall toilet, capture some of that space back just a little. And then this wall here, if you can see, I may do a pocket door. So you don't have the, um, isn't quite, it gives you a little more room and a little more usability. If possible, a pocket door would be great. Um, but again, 
it's a lot of possibility. And then here, one of the things uh, they had mentioned is you could possibly put laundry here. Now again, if you're doing work downstairs, much easier. And since you're your own detached self, again, also much easier too, because you don't have to worry about your neighbors and going through people's ceilings and, and all that good stuff. Now upstairs, you've got the two bedrooms. And it's really nice, light, and bright up here. It's quite surprising. You got the old subfloors here, part of the pine or the dug fir. And first bedroom here. Look how big it is. It is the king size bed. Nine foot ceilings here. They have updated the electrical. Um, it's really lovely. Double pane windows. So we did this in a second. You've got a uh, little closet here. Double pane windows out here. The roof looks to be in really good shape. Take a look out there. View towards the rest of the Noe Valley. Backside down the heights. I love the little detailing here. Picture rail. You know, I love my picture rail. Tall baseboards. Traditional doors. Old style hinges here. And here's your second bedroom here. Also really generous. Both of these are really just nice sized bedrooms. Love that Japanese maple outside. You can see the leather glass and how it's slowly being well leather glass. Nice shades there. So there are two units across the way and a little granny unit that might be rented in a little bit. But otherwise, um, really just a fantastic space. This is at 995 with Lamise Struby and the Druby team of Red Generation Real Estate offers are on Thursday, 10 a.m. And uh, yeah, this is of course Kevin Ho writing, oh not writing, reading this for you all, hoping that uh, you enjoy it. It's a really cool space. I think it's really uh, just a special one. And it's exactly what you would hope to find when you find a great place like this in Noe Valley. We have more videos on our YouTube channel, of course. And until the next one, thanks for watching.